So to stop and start a subsystem is very straightforward. So here I am in the uh, work with active jobs screen. And let's say we have this subsystem here, QBatch, that we want to stop and start or end and, uh, and restart. So there's two commands that you'll use to do it. The first one to end a subsystem is end SBS. I'll go ahead and prompt that with F4. Brings us up to the screen here, and we go ahead and enter in the subsystem description name, which in this case is QBatch. Now, two different options here. You can do a controlled option or an immediate option. Let me back up a second. <clears throat> Since there's not anything running in QBatch, I can end it immediately. If there was a job in there that you wanted to and you, um, and you did an end immediately, it will end the job. If, uh, if you do a controlled end, it gives the job time to finish before it ends the subsystem. So that's the difference between those two options. So go back into end subsystem, QBatch. In this case, since I know there aren't any jobs running uh, in that subsystem, I can just go ahead and do an immediate end. Press enter. And within moments, if I press F5, you should see, now you can see we have an end status here. Okay, that let us know that it's ending. And there, F5. So that uh, batch, that subsystem is no longer active. Now to restart it, you just do the start subsystem command, strsbs. And I'll go ahead and prompt that with F4. And it asks us for the subsystem description. So qbatch. And then uh, if it's not in your library list, if the subsystem description is not in your library list, then you would want to specify the library that it is in. In this case, it is in the library list. Go ahead and press Enter. And if I F5 here, you will see that QBatch is running. Now, another little trick um, to keep jobs from coming into a batch that you want to end is just to end the job queue, um, or put the job queue on hold, I should say, for that subsystem. So uh, what I like to do is just come into the work job queue command. In this case, I know that the job queue that feeds this subsystem is QBatch. So I just do work job queue, and that brings up all the job queues. And I come in here, and you just took a 3 on there and put it on a hold. And then now the, the jobs will just queue up in the batch, and they won't be released to the subsystem. And uh, that way you don't have to worry about accidentally ending any jobs.